hey, you don't have any paper. Uh, your teacher gave you an assignment to create a picture. Uh, you don't have any art supplies. You're stuck home. Uh, you don't know what to do. Hey, you can use Google Slides to create some cool drawings. Let's show you how. First, get rid of this stuff. I just opened up a new Google Slide. You don't need this. And we want just a, a space to work. So let's cut this and just cut that. That comes on the default. Let's get rid of it. If you don't click right above it, you can't cut it. So cut it off. All right, now we're going to look. Actually, Google Slides is a pretty cool drawing uh, thingamajiggy. You can do some cool drawings and stuff, um, pretty powerful stuff on uh, Google Slides. So let's see how to do it. Basically, everything you draw is done from shapes. So let's pick some shapes and let's get started. So let's start with like, let's just make a quick face. So here's a circle. So how do you make this look cool? Well, first of all, you got to know some tools. So if you go in here, you can, if you look here, there's a border. Let's say I want, that it's, it's really important that you can turn that off or on. So if you look over here at the tools and you look, there's the border. And if you go to transparent, you'll see that that's now gone. So you that that's really important to make some cool drawings. Um, so that's an important feature. Uh, also, to be able to change colors. So you click on here. If you do want a border, so you can, um, if you go back to this, so you click on this first, and here is the border weight. So if you look, you can make, it's thicker or thinner, which can be really cool to like, uh, well, you're going to need to be able to do that to create some drawings. Now, if you want to also uh, go in here, you can change the inside. So I change that to white or if you want it to be a certain color can be uh, really, really good. So let's just start there. So we got a circle and we make it bigger. Let's just put it in the center. And for this one, let's just start really, really simply. So let's say I've got this is this is a face, um, and we can get you can get into some super cool drawings here. But um, we're going to start really basic. To show you some of the tools. Uh, you might want to save your thing as so we'll save that to face. Let's just make a simple, simple face. You can make this so much better, but we're going to go. This is really basics. 101. Okay, so I'm just going to stay with that circle uh, tool and I'm going to go again and create any kind of shape you want. So you can go like that and I'm going to change. Notice the inside's gray. I'm going to change it to white and then I'm going to make the border a little bit thicker and maybe I'll go super thick. Change it to black. You notice how it was a gray there. Now, once you've got something like that, all right, that, that's going to be an eye. But if I click on this, and if you go through that process, it takes a while. So you might want to just go to copy. You can either go up to here, edit, copy, or it, you know you can uh, do that thing. I don't know what that thing is called. And C, uh, command, <laughs> command C, uh, or control C if you're on a different type of computer, not a Mac. Control C. And then control V and you can recopy. Now you have the same thing and you can have two eyes here. Now if you look, uh, the way this works is any new thing goes on a top layer. So you can see um, this one here is on top of this one. So I like to like overlap a little bit. So oh here we have some some eyes. If you moved it around, it wouldn't really look right with the other one being on top, unless it was looking that way, you could do that. I want it to look this way. So um, there you have two the exact same circle. Now you could really play around with, okay, like a crazy eye. And it gets to be a lot of fun, actually. So you, it, especially if your teacher is assigned an art thing and you don't have any supplies. Now there's a way to make this look 10 times better, but we're, we're going to start here. Um, so and another thing you could do, another cool feature, is if you take these two things and you press shift, you can select them both. And if you go up to here um, somewhere, you can group them together. If you look on arrange, go down to group. Now, what does that do? 
that will treat these things as one shape now. So if you're moving them around, uh, they stay together. So if you see I click on that, it's not two things, it's one. So now I can move these around. Ooh, now I can create some cool looks. Um, so let's just let's just start there. All right. So very simply, uh, let's throw in another. No, only circles here. That's all I'm using. Now, I've got. I'm gonna create a. I want to create just a black circle for an eyeball pupil. Um, and you can see that's not a circle. If if you go back and you press Shift. Or sorry, let's get rid of that. Let's do that again. If you go to a circle, and as you're making it, you press shift, it'll keep it. See how it's an actual circle? It's not this shape. Shift keeps it as a circle. So I'm going to go like that. Now I want this to be all black. So I'm going to go up here and create all black. And then I'm going to get rid. What I'm doing now is getting rid of the outside. So it should be all black. Now. I'm going to go a little bigger and I'm going to go, I'm going to copy this one, control C, control V, command if you're on a different, uh, you know, PC, make that a little smaller. Now my favorite, one of my favorite tricks is just put a little white speck in there. And so I'm just going to copy this again, copy, paste, so it copies it. And I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm going to hold down the shift, shrink it down, and I'm going to put it right there. Ooh, that looks great. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to show you a little faster way to do this. I'm going to hit this one, and I'm going to click on this little circle. Otherwise, if I move it, you see how that one's going to stay there. So I'm going to, I'm going to click, shift, and I'm going to group them together. So I'm going to go to Range group now you see if I move it they're together as one and I'm gonna copy and paste that whole thing so now I have another eyeball really fast look at that oh see how it changed the shape I'm gonna press shift no I'm not I'm gonna get rid of that control X control copy paste move it over here which is kind of fun because now you can create with one one thing you can create different looks you could even um, go up here now slide duplicate this slide and you've got a whole bunch of different faces you can make boom boom so this one can be like that you can go up to this one move it up like that look at that cool huh all right you yeah, know what I might want to make these a little now I'm gonna leave it I want to make this one a little thinner Go down to eight. Yeah, maybe that looks better. Notice I'm on this slide. All right, I'm gonna. Eh, I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna show you why in a second. All right, so I'm on that one. Now let's add a mouth. Uh, watch one of these. All these kinds of shapes could actually create interesting looking mouths. Let's just do a basic one. Very simple, and I like purple for the inside of a mouth. Purple looks like it's receding and maybe we'll make some lips and make them thick. They are way too red. You know what? There we go. Maybe go gray. Eh, like that. You'll find picking colors can be pretty challenging but you get all kinds of different looks. So that's looking fairly good, pretty good. Um, let's see. Now one thing, if I wanted to add ears here, one thing you can check out is if you look down here, it will show you some custom colors you can use. Um, if you're not using those. Let's go make a circle too. Here we go. We'll go back to circle. We'll just use circles. So here's a mouth. And let's make 
it dark. Let's go to dark gray. No, let's go to dark purple. And on the outside, let's make the weight. And let's go. Would it look good? Maybe I like a light pink. Yeah, that looks all right. Ah, okay. Where we could go. So we got one. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically seven circles. And we've got a pretty cool picture. Let's add, now I'll show you a feature here. I'm going to add this shape behind. It's going to be like a body. Now, you can see, if you think more like you're building a pizza, you can see, oh, this is ruining my drawing. So you got to go up here to arrange, and we want to put the order. We want to send it all the way to back, because it's going to be behind the face. And now you have sort of uh, it looks a lot better. So let's go to eight. It's got a shirt. There's some cool things you can do. You can change using that thing. You can change the type of look. Maybe change the color. Bright green. I like that bright green. Oh, that looks kind of neat. Move that in. What else? We could make these smaller if we want. Let's just show you. Let's say that we're just playing around here and we're doing a really simple one. Um, go up on my border weight on there. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's the cool thing about doing this. You gotta make these decisions. All right. You can move the eyes up. You can get different looks by just moving things around. Oh, look at that. You can see things you might want to get rid of. Control X will get rid of stuff you don't want. All right. Now, let's just go check out on the side. Let's do a couple. No, we don't want to. Oh, no. Let's go to slide. Do oh no, we don't want to do that. Control Z. Let's go to duplicate slide. Slide duplicate. Slide duplicate. Slide duplicate. All right. Now that gives us something to work with. Now we can keep using this and create different. If you look over here, watch this. We're on the bottom one down here, so you can create different looks. Oh, look at that. Hmm, maybe you want to try out just using, oh, smaller mouth. How does that look? I kind of like that one. Maybe move this down. Maybe he's looking this way. Oh, yeah. This is getting good. This is getting good. Okay, this guy, maybe he's looking this way. Oh, maybe he's confused. Confused man. Confused dude. And maybe... Let's go right down to, that doesn't look like a confused mouth. I'd be shocked. Oh, I like that. Go up to this guy. Let's do really small to the side. Woo! Maybe he's looking this way. You know what? Maybe this guy's looking back and up. Woohoo! I like that one. Maybe this one, same thing over here a little ways. Looking down. Look at that. Very cool. Go to this guy. This is our starting guy. Boop, boop. All right, there you go. Some cool things you can do just starting off. There's one simple face. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to dupl duplicate another slide. 
where am I I'm on this one? All right. And I'm, I'm going to take everything here, select it, and watch. I'm going to hold everything together and move it down. Now, you see it made the lines a lot thicker. That might be something you want to watch as you're creating stuff um, and you're working. You could resize those to make it look better from a distance if you want to make the sizes all uniform. Sorry, four. All right. Now you could just copy, paste. You can move them over. You have a whole thing. Now, if you want to move the whole thing, it might be a good idea at this point to group them all together so you can you can have a the whole thing and mess around with it. Now let's you can see them all together. Maybe he's looking at him. Maybe this one's looking at. Surprised. This one's looking up. Let's just put some words in here for fun. Let's go to slides. Uh, let's go. Oh, what do we want? I'm adding some words. Let's go to word art. Don't use text, use word art, it'll look better. Um, let's do drawing ideas for kids. Stuck. Let's do that. We'll do that first. And then we're going to do another one. I'll show you why in a second. Um, insert another word art. Stuck. At home with no art supplies. Ch -ch -ch. There we go. All right, we'll hit that and we'll move this down. All right. So now, if you look at this, it's kind of dull, you can add colors to this. Maybe red. Oh, that looks kind of good. Uh, we could increase the border thickness. Uh, a little too thick not bad maybe change the color to something like blue that's not bad i think that needs to go a little thinner uh that's not bad um let's change the look that's i like using uh fonts that are a little thicker will always look good if you're using borders around them. Um, which is kind of neat. And let's make that a different color. Maybe yellow? Yeah, that looks not too bad. Let's increase the weight. Let's make that red kind of to match. Let's A little larger. That's the good thing about using word art. When you resize, it's sort of it's easier to do. Where you can't do this with if you're just adding text. I don't like how that looks. Let's try some different looks. Nah. Nah. You can go scroll down all kinds of different. The thicker ones tend to look better, but that one does not look. Sometimes you have to resize. New. No. Let's look down. Passion one. No. Don't like that one. Ooh, let's go to that one. That's not bad. Uh, you get the idea. 
can spend it takes forever to find good uh, fonts and text so um, there we go hope you found that useful you know what I think that's gonna look better up top so let's do this we're gonna select all these dudes and we're gonna group them so we can move them around all together now we'll move them down and this will be like a question so double click on something and you can go back and fix it stuck at home with no art supplies I had a person ask me how what do I do my students don't have any art supplies this is what you can do